We are pleased to be joined by our good friend, Dr. Reggie Caudill, who is the uh, dean of the Martin Tuckman School of Management at the great New Jersey Institute of Technology. Good to see you, Dean. Thank you. Great to be here. I have to always disclose these things. I uh, have taught at NJIT and uh, know the school well. Um, and on March the 3rd, 2016, that was when, in fact, uh, the Martin Tuckman School was named, right? Right. Oh, what a fantastic day. It was a big day. Tell everyone who Martin Tuckman is and why it matters. Well, Martin Tuckman is one of our graduates. Uh, in uh, 1961, he graduated in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. But he went on, he's, a, he's an innovator, he's an entrepreneur, and he just revolutionized the container freight industry. So he's, he's a really business focused. So he's, he's technology oriented, but business focused. And, just a tremendous asset to us. And on that day, uh, not, it wasn't just a, a naming ceremony, but that day we also had a terrific panel discussion that I was honored to uh, moderate with uh, other business leaders who are connected to the, uh, the School of Management. And we talked about the changing role of business schools and how uh, your School of Management, um, but the philosophy of it. Why don't you do mm -hmm. this? Describe what the philosophy is and the changing world of business. Okay. Great. Yeah, the, uh, it start with uh, the world of business and how it has changed. Technologies are just across the board, integrated into what's happening in business. And we have to make changes in the way that we actually educate the next generation of business leaders. And with these technologies, it not only affects how you operate, but the data and the information that you need in order to operate a successful business what do you mean? today. What do you mean the data? Da data Give me an is... Example. Example is just information that comes about through any source, but for example, your cell phone right. and communicating and media systems. Uh, it's, it's the way that uh, companies operate and the, their supply chain and information from their supply chain. Where are those products that you just purchased? When are they going to get into your store? How do you know that they're the right color, the right mix mm. in order to satisfy your customer's demand? Absolutely. So it's important. It's, uh, it it's really requires that you look at how you operate and the data that's required to do that is just growing phenomenally. You know, Dean, one of the issues that came up that I found so fascinating, you're talking about technology, but we got into this whole discussion in the panel um, back and forth. You're talking about technology, and I sat there and I said, <clears throat> as someone who thinks about communication, that it must be harder to engage millennials, if you will, who are sitting there, you know, and then you're looking at pictures from that day, they're sitting there with their iPhones and handheld devices, and you're talking about technology, but then again, I said face-to-face -face communication was so important, you're saying, hey, wait a minute, they're not mutually exclusive, talk about that. Oh, yeah. There's, you know, we could talk about the advances in technology and how important that is, but it's still the people skills, the communication skills, the leadership that really still makes a difference in business. And one thing that's happening with technologies, I'm not really sure that we're catching up with where the technology is. I'm not sure that we've learned yet quite how to use that technology efficiently. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that the way that we communicate, especially the millennials, they're, they're looking at efficiency and, and the way that they communicate very rapidly with their friends. It's quite different, though, when you get into the business world and you have to communicate with those <laughs> that are not necessarily right there with you at that same level because you, you need to cross these boundaries. And it's not only boundaries associated with technologies and boundaries associated with disciplines, but it's also differences in the way that just people think and learn and want to communicate. Reggie, what's so fascinating is that in business and in a school of management, you, you have to teach this as well. If we're talking about team building and face-to-face -face communication, mm -hmm. is it challenging? Do you think it's more challenging for certain people, younger people who are communicating so quickly, text messages, email, to get together face-to-face? -to -face? Oh, uh, absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. You know, there, there are just so many examples where you end up having to cross disciplines. So it's that communication skill across those disciplines So hold on as back well. up. Engineers with? Engineers with business people, with managers, with computer scientists, all of them speak a slightly different language. And so one of the keys, I think, to the future is to be able to have one foot firmly in one domain, but be able to communicate to others in the group, in the team, because there's no problem that can be addressed without it really requiring a team effort to make that happen. So how would your school deal with that? It's a difficult problem to deal with, but what we're doing is we are working with the computer science programs and engineering in order to really bring engineers into the business side 
as well as allowing our business and management students to, to participate with the computer scientists and engineers. And that day, before we let you out of here, you were also talking about creating real life, I don't want to know if I want to call them case studies or real life challenges that right. force people to solve problems together, right? Right, right. We're, we're building teams where they're developing uh, new products. And so you have to have people on the technical side to understand the right solution. But you also have to have people on the manager's side in order to understand whether or not it's economically viable and how to really produce it in a way that's economic. It's so interesting. People think an MBA, they think they know what it is. It's finance, it's management. Mm -hmm. It's much more, right? Oh, yeah, it's much more. It's, it's leadership and that ability to communicate is one very important part of it. Also, you have to be technical. Any field inside of, of the business world today, you have to have an understanding of the analytics that are required and also the technology. How about the marketing that are in that communication? Field. We've talked about that. Oh, probably the most sophisticated field for business because it deals with huge data sets. You're trying to understand what your customer wants before your customer even knows what and they want. And the conversations want. you and I have had about leadership, right? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't get along in this world without that. Uh, you have to have that differentiator in order to be successful. And for those people who have the business skills, who have that technical knowledge, mm. but also have that ability to lead and to understand how to put teams together and make them execute. That's what it's going to take. That's the solution. And that's what we're going to be teaching at the Martin Tuckman School of Management at uh, NJIT, otherwise known as the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Our good friend, Dr. Reggie Cordo, I want to thank you for joining us and talking about the... Uh, School of Management, NJIT. Thank well, you, Reggie. Good my stuff. pleasure, Steve. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Holy Name Medical Center, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, MD Advantage, and by NJ Best. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.